JotNot Pro is a multi-page document scanner for the iPhone. It has a simple, easy-to-use interface and gives you the ability to take pictures of things and email them as PDF files or save them to Dropbox, Evernote, or Google Docs. So let's do a quick demo and show you how it works. This is what JotNot Pro looks like when you get in uh, to the application. When you want to uh, scan in a new document or a book or whatever, you first of all you click on the little camera icon on the bottom left of the screen. Next you'll get a go into camera mode on your phone and so you uh, make sure you've got good lighting um, and then you take a picture of the, the document. It can also help to press the stabilize button before you click the camera button to take the picture and that ensures that uh, after you've clicked the camera button that it won't take the picture until you're holding the camera uh, completely steadily. But it is important to have good lighting when you're doing this to get a good result. So after you press the camera button, um, it gives you a preview of the picture or of the document and if that looks fine you click the use button and it goes into the, the mode uh, where it it tries to identify the corners of the document. Usually it does a pretty good job, but if it hasn't found the corner properly, you can click on these little plus signs and drag them around to uh, the corners of the document. What this allows Jot not to do is if you've taken the picture on a bit of an angle, it'll, uh, it'll in the software straighten it out for you. So you can, again, just move the corners around to find them. After you've done that, if you've got another page that you need to scan, click the plus button at the bottom corner and it'll go through and allow you to take pictures of all the pages you want to. Once you've taken a picture of all the pages, when you're at this point again on the, the next page, you press the process button in the top right and it gives you a preview of the, the document. Uh, at this point, you're ready to uh, either export it to uh, Dropbox or Google Drive or something like that or email it to someone and we do that by pressing the forward button and then we go to this screen where we can either email it or select Dropbox or further down you can't see it there but there's a Google Drive button as well and we can save it to all those uh, different cloud services. We're going to email it so when we click on the email button it asks us what format we want to email it in most of the time I'm, uh, ex or I'm sending it in a PDF document. I want the whole document, not just a single page, so I'll click document as PDF and then it'll open up an email message and I can send it to, to whoever I want. Um, last of all, we'll, this particular document I emailed to myself and here is what it looks like opened up on my desktop computer. I've opened it up uh, in Adobe Acrobat and I've run the optical character recognition software on it so I can copy and paste this, uh, I can highlight it if I want to, anything you can do with a PDF document. Um, so JotNot Pro, uh, it's not free right now, it costs a dollar, uh, it's on sale, normally it costs two dollars. Uh, it's a wonderful replacement for a photocopier and gives you much more functionality than you'd get from a traditional photocopier. Uh, there is no Android version of JotNot Pro, but there are a lot of other apps that do the same thing in the Android uh, App Store. So if you're an Android user, just do a, uh, a search for, um, uh, for photocopier or portable scanner and you'll find a bunch of apps that do the same sort of thing that JotNot Pro does. So we've got a short exercise for you. Uh, what we'd like you to do is, uh, if if you have an iPhone or an a, or an iPhone, uh, install JotNot Pro, um, and then find a document that's at least two pages long, and scan that document in using JotNot Pro, and then email it to yourself in PDF format, and see how it goes. Good luck.